how on earth do I keep myself looking 20 years younger than my actual age? Well, make sure you watch the entire video to find out. Okay, I'm Katie Gates and you are amazing. You are awesome. There is no doubt about that. Thank you so much for being here. And if you are new to the channel, welcome. Now, I don't have on any makeup. My brows are done, yes, but I don't consider that makeup. And I have a white tissue here to prove that I have zero makeup on. <laughs> and I'm going to come in very close to the camera so you can see how smooth my skin actually is. I have no acne, no fine lines, no excessive signs of aging. My T-zone is normally, um, sometimes it can get a little oily, but that's natural. Other than that, I have nothing on. And of course, I have some lip protector on my lips. But other than that, I have nothing on. And this is very important because a lot of people will come on camera and they're giving skin advice, but they're caked in makeup and foundation and they've contoured their skin. So you can't really see their natural skin. And to be honest, most people are afraid to show their natural skin on camera. I'm not one of those people because I want to prove to you that I do look 20 years younger than my actual age and I want to share my secret. So how do I do this? Well, first I cleanse, I tone, I exfoliate. Step four, I treat. Step five, I hydrate. And during the daytime, this would be step six. You can skip this step at night. But during the daytime, step six would be protect. This is an SPF. Now, why do I follow this regimen? For one, because it's a proven regimen. We know that in order to have clean, beautiful skin, you must cleanse your skin, not over cleanse your skin, not scrub your skin, but you have got to cleanse your skin. I don't use an expensive cleanser. This is CeraVe. Because I have combination skin, so combination skin is you're oily in some areas like the T-zone, you could be dry in some areas. That's combination skin. That simply means that the skin on your face is not one type of skin. You have different types of skin on your face, oily skin, dry skin, it's a combination. So because I have combination skin, I utilize a gel cleanser. If I had dry skin, I'd use a milky or a creamy cleanser. If I had normal skin, I could use gel cleanser, milky cleanser. And if I had oily skin, you could utilize a gel cleanser or you can, you can utilize a foaming facial cleanser. So this is CeraVe. You can get this at your local drugstore, Walgreens, CVS, Walmart, Target. It's only like 11 bucks, but it works amazing. I also tone my skin next. Now you'll notice that this toner, this is also CeraVe. I utilize this toner because it does the job. It's alcohol free, it's witch hazel free, it's fragrance free, it has no essential oils. None of those things that are scientifically proven to destroy healthy skin cells because it's the base of the skin, underneath the skin that produces the beautiful, smooth, supple skin. And if we're putting things on our face that are scientifically proven to destroy healthy skin cells, we're not going to have smooth, supple, younger looking skin. In fact, we are going to age much quicker than we normally would. It is crucial to stay away from ingredients that are proven to harm your skin rather than to help your skin. I like this toner because for one, it's affordable. Two, you can pick it up almost anywhere. And three, because it does not contain anything that is going to harm your skin. So what I do next, after I cleanse and after I tone, I then exfoliate my skin. This is the key along with protecting your skin, exfoliating your skin with a leave-on topical exfoliant is the key. This is a 2% BHA liquid exfoliant. BHA stands for beta hydroxy acid. This is Paula's Choice brand. My favorite, favorite exfoliant in the entire 
world. Paula's Choice products are amazing. I have been using her products for years, ever since I was in my early 20s. Her products are fragrance-free, alcohol-free, essential oil-free. So there's nothing in them that's going to bring harm to your skin. This video is not sponsored by her either, but I am a big, big fan of her products because I feel comfortable and safe utilizing them. Now, this is the liquid gold. This works phenomenal for anyone dealing with acne or blackheads, oily skin, overly oily or, or excessively oily skin. This is the liquid gold a liquid or a gel, a leave-on beta hydroxy acid. This right here is the key to younger looking skin. Now, unlike a topical scrub, a leave-on exfoliant like a beta hydroxy acid can not only exfoliate the top layer of dead skin cells, it can actually penetrate the pore, penetrate within the pore. So if you are dealing with acne, you need this. this penetrates within the pore and it removes the excessive bacteria that's within the pore lining. No other exfoliant can do that. Not one, only a beta hydroxy acid can do that. Now another option is an AHA or a alpha hydroxy acid. That too is a lead on exfoliant and that works great for premature aging or fine lines, those wrinkles, but I prefer a beta hydroxy acid because it's the best of both worlds. Another thing too, when it comes to exfoliating, exfoliating your skin with a leave on exfoliant, do this step at night. Apply your leave on exfoliant at night. The salicylic acid, which is the ingredient in the product, that's the exfoliant, because it is removing the top layer of dead skin cells and penetrating within the pore, your skin in the daytime is more, suscept more susceptible <laughs> to sun damage. So you don't want to do this during the day. Do it at night when your skin has time to rest. It doesn't have to work as hard to repel the sun's UVA and UVB rays. And in turn, this can penetrate better. Now this is a product that your skin will have to normalize itself with. It may be uncomfortable at first. You're going to experience some discomfort. Just know that with use, let's say a week, a week and a half, that discomfort will become, will minimize itself and you'll be able to start utilizing this, let's say three to four times a week rather than once or twice a week. So if you're dealing with things like acne, you're going to want to treat your skin with an acne treatment gel. Most people that deal with acne have combination skin or oily skin. Most people, now that's not the rule, but if you do the research, science has proven that most acne hinders people with oily skin or combination skin. So like myself, I have combination skin and I have dealt with acne in the past. Now I don't get much acne, Reason being is because I make sure that the products that I'm utilizing on my skin are safe for my skin. Meaning I don't use ex heavy lotions. I don't use bar soaps. I don't use any type of soap cleanser and bar form. I don't use heavy lotions or lotion based cleansers to cleanse my skin. All of those things create a film, a film of heaviness on the skin and in turn suffocates the pores. The pores then produce more oil. The excessive oil leads to oil slicks, blackheads, and more acne. So treating the skin with an acne treatment gel, which I utilize a 10% benzoyl peroxide gel. Most dermatologists will recommend that, a 10% benzoyl peroxide gel. And I only apply it to places that I'm known to get acne. So sometimes I don't have to have acne on my face. Like I'm known to get acne here. So some nights I'll put the treatment on my skin, although there's no acne present because I'm being proactive. Step five, I hydrate. So once I cleanse, tone, exfoliate, treat, I then hydrate my skin. Now I utilize lightweight hydrators. So lightweight lotions or gel-based hydrators. 
This one right here is another Paula's Choice product. Um, it's her nightly reconditioning moisturizer and it's great for all skin types. So that tells me that if it's good for all skin types, there's nothing heavy in the product. There's nothing that's going to clog my pores. So I'm not going to have breakouts. There's nothing in the product that's going to irritate my skin and cause my skin to produce more oil because irritation underneath the skin causes the skin to produce more oil. And normally when we have a rash or a breakout, that's our skin's way of saying, hello, something is wrong. I need your help. That's how the skin speaks to us. Now the last step is to protect. This, like the exfoliant, is the liquid gold. I protect my skin with a broad spectrum of sunscreen. This is the Coppertone Oil-Free Face SPF 50. It protects against both UVA rays and UVB rays. I utilize it 365 days of the year. Even if it's cloudy outside, even if it's raining outside, because it's not the sun that's destroying your skin. The sun is big, beautiful. It sits in the sky and it says, hello, it gives us light. It's not the sun that's destroying your skin. It's the sun's rays, the UVA and the UVB rays. We can't see those rays. They are invisible to the naked eye, but guess what? They are wreaking havoc on your skin if you have nothing to repel them. A well-formulated sunscreen will repel those harmful UVA and UVB rays and help your skin look years younger than it actually is. Loves, I utilize those two products all the time and I use this one, this sunscreen, 365 days a year. This is how my skin stays looking fabulous. This is how my skin looks 20 years younger than my actual age. Like I said, I am 42, I'm soon to be 43 and no one can tell me that I look 43. I look darn good for my age and I can say that with confidence. But that's it guys. I wash my skin, I tone my skin, right? I exfoliate, I treat, I hydrate, and I protect. That's it. That's how I'm able to look years younger than my actual age. Even my neck, it's, it's imperative that you apply all of these things to your neck area as well. Because sometimes our neck can tell our age. <laughs> So if we're focusing on our face and we're forgetting our, our neck area, it's going to look years older while this up here looks years younger. So make sure you focus on that as well, but that's it. So let me know what you think. Ask me questions, I don't mind answering them. I'm also going to do a more in-depth video for my email list subscribers only when it comes to what makes a, a cleanser a good cleanser. How do you know which cleanser to use for your skin type? Which is better when it comes to the different toners that are out there? Should I trust the ordinary? Should I go with something over the counter? Should I go with a uh, department store brand? So all of these things, which mask is worth my, my money or my time? So I'm going to do a more in-depth video for my email list um, subscribers only. So if you're not on my email list, hit the link below to sign up. Thank you to everyone who is on my email list already. I appreciate you. I truly, truly appreciate you. And thank you so much for taking the time to be here with me, to be on this journey with me. Like I said, I'm Katie Gates. I am a licensed esthetician. I'm also a poet and an author. I'm thinking about doing a skin book. So let me know if you want to see that or if you'll read it. I love you all. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell, share this video with someone who needs to hear it. I promise you they will love it. I love you all. Bye.